my name is Tulio de Oliveira. Yeah, I, I currently direct CRISP, and so I'm responsible for the the scientific management of CRISP, and also to make sure that we are normally well resourced with people, machines, equipment, and and training to to everyone. I am originally from Brazil, but I have been in South Africa for close to 20 years, so I'm now South African. We are really in the epicenter of the HIV and TB epidemic in the world, yeah? So we have a great chance to really impact on things that have great, great impact on the population that normally also translate into big scientific outcome, yeah? I would like to highlight some great results that we got with some colleagues of us that are just in the second floor in our building with Caprissa, where we use phylogenetic analysis yeah, to identify who is transmitting HIV to a young woman in South Africa. That's a very important question because this is the group that is get the highest infection rate. And until now, we are unsure what was the characteristic of the male transmitting to them. What we identify that are males, slightly older than them, uh, average age of 27, 28 years old, that do not know the HIV status, are not on ART, yeah, and have recently infection. Eh? So basically, before you had this, this kind of information at large scale in a community, eh, you couldn't really link what's the likely source of transmission to different individuals. So when you put all that information together and what we did is to sample 10,000 individuals in a rural community in South Africa, and we put all the genetic data of the virus together, you can clearly see what's the linkages between transmission between different individuals and that you can derive what's the characteristic of the most probable transmitters. Eh? And so it was the first time in South Africa or in the African continent that such a high level uh, sequencing has been done to answer such a specific question. Eh? These results were very important eh, to really yeah, highlight this new information, what was promptly used by a lot of policy makers to devise new policies. So these results were covered in the main scientific report of the UN AIDS, that's the main United Nations agent for AIDS. It came as our goal number one of our national strategic plan to combat HIV and TB in South Africa. And not surprising, when we published this paper in the Lancet HIV, a week later it was covered in both science, nature, and a lot of general media, such as the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, the BBC. So the impact of that paper was enormous on highlighting, like, really, what's the source of HIV to the most vulnerable group of people in South Africa. If you can stop infection, especially in South Africa, to a young woman, you're going to stop the majority of new infections. Yeah. So it's really worth it to really focus on interventions not only in the young woman, but also in the slightly older men to really stop the cycle of transmission. Eh? And if we stop uh, the cycle of transmission of HIV, of course, we're going to have many positive effects for South Africa, a much healthier population, yeah, also low um, medical costs for the country, and also a um, much bigger workforce, more motivated to really change the, the country. Mm -hmm.